The Presto Player lead capture forms that appear as an overlay over a video is a very powerful feature, but did you know that you could take that info that someone submits their email address and you can pretty much pass it off anywhere using something called webhooks. Webhooks is sort of an open standard on the internet where you could take data from one place and beam it off someplace else. It's actually a lot easier to set up than it sounds, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in this video. So there's two steps to this. The first step is we're going to create the webhook inside of Presto Player, and then the second step is to go into the preset where we have the lead capture enabled, and we need to select that webhook, and then we're gonna test it. Let's get started. To create our webhook, we go to Presto Player and then click on Settings, and then click on the Integration option here in the menu. We'll scroll down and you can see a list of the options here of where you could pass that data off to, and here it is, Webhooks. Let's click on this, and here's the option to create a new webhook and we just need a couple pieces of information. This is standard if you set up a webhook or whatever system you use has webhooks as an option to receive data. So what we need to do is give this webhook a name and then we need to have the URL for where we're gonna send this webhook data off to and that's pretty much it. Well, you can send the data pretty much anywhere you want, email marketing tools, whatever. We're going to send it to Sure Triggers, which is an automation platform. You can get a free account and you can do this up to 500 times per month, sending this email information off wherever you want. There's not really anything this easy. So let's go ahead and click right here where it says create a new automation. I'll give this automation a name and then I'll click on save. The way an automation tool works is there's a trigger and then there's actions. So in this case, the trigger is going to be receiving a webhook. So I'll click right here where it says add a trigger and then I can scroll down here to where it says webhooks and then I will choose the event and it's pretty much just receive a webhook. And here is that URL that we needed. So there's a little icon right here on the right. We can click on it and that's gonna copy this URL into our clipboard. Now I will paste in that URL right there and I'll give this a name. All right, and there's other options here that may be required based on where you're sending it to. This is all that's needed for this. I'll click on create and you can see now I have this webhook created. So step one is complete. The next step is to add it to the preset that we set up where we enabled the email capture. So I have a video here in my media hub and it's right here. I'll click into the video and you can see right off here to the right when I click on the video and I scroll down, we're gonna see the video presets. And this is the video preset that I created that is on this video. So I'm gonna click on the little edit icon. I'm gonna click right here where it says email capture and you can customize this all you want. I'm fine with how it is. I'm gonna scroll down and here's where you choose your email provider. Now I've only configured a webhook, so that's why webhooks is the only one that's selected. And then right here, I can choose a webhook. Keep in mind, you can have multiple webhooks and different presets that will send this data out to different locations. All right, I have that all set. And let's see, I have this configured to start at the beginning of a video. I also have the allow skipping. We can customize these little bits of text, but I'm pretty happy with how this is. So what I'm gonna do is click on update preset. Now let's go ahead and test this. So the email capture feature will not show the email capture if someone's already logged into your website because it's for capturing email addresses and obviously if they're logged into your website, you already have their email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up an incognito window where I'm not logged into the website so that we could test this. All right, so here I am in that incognito window. And as you can see, it's asking for the email address. So what I wanna do is go back into Sure Triggers. And then there's this option here that says Capture Response because we're setting it up as an automation in here. So I'm gonna click on Capture Response and then it's just gonna sit there and wait for the form to be filled out and the webhook to send it over. So I better hurry this up. So I'll enter my email, there it is. And then I'll click on Play and then the video will proceed to playing and the data has been captured. Now let's jump back into Sure Triggers 
And as you can see, there's now a check mark and it's saying that the, the data was sent over successfully, the webhook works successfully, and it shows it right here. The email is the name of the label and the actual email that it received. So now I can click on save. So that's pretty much how you get your webhooks working. Now you could do a lot more with sure triggers. I can click right here and then define what happens with this data. I can send it into any of these apps that you see listed here to do some really neat things. So if I wanted to send them an email, I could click on this. If I wanted to add that email to a Google Sheet, I can click on this. If I wanted to add them to a group on Circle, I could do this. We've got email marketing tools listed here. There's so many different options that are listed here where you can take that email and actually do something with it. So for example, if I just wanted to send an email, I can click right here on SMTP and then the option is to send an email. And then right here is the SMTP service that I connected and I can put in my from name, my from email, and then the two, that's where I'm sending this off to. I click these three little dots right here off to the right and there it is, there's the email. So it's gonna send it to that email address. I can continue filling this out and put a custom email there and click on save. And this email will automatically go out whenever someone fills out the email capture form. So obviously I was showing you sure triggers there, but you, you can send this off wherever you want. That's just one of thousands of services that can receive data with a webhook. And if you're wondering, huh, does my service receive webhooks? All you have to do is go to Google, type the service name that you use, and then type the word webhook, and it's usually gonna pull up a result right away. Or if you want to do some more advanced automation things, you can send it off to sure triggers and just get a free account. Or you could also send it off into Zapier if you wanted the data there. Now in the future, there will be a more native integration with sure triggers where you don't have to do it with one of these webhooks just to make it that much easier. There's also some other things inside of sure triggers for Presto player. So if you ever wanted to trigger a series of actions based upon if a logged in user watched a certain percentage of your video or made it to the end of your video or maybe 80% through your video, you can do automations like that as well, very easy using sure triggers. But that will come in a future update. This video is about webhooks. We hope you love it and I'm sure you'll get a lot of great usage out of it.